between Israel and Hamas reached a grim new milestone today. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 30,000 Palestinians have been killed since October. That is when the conflict started after Hamas attacked Israel and took hostages. NBC 5's Tahra Rahman shares the story of a North Texas doctor just back from a mission to ease the suffering. It you know, brings back all the memories that I had there. Scrolling through his phone, some of Dr. Kawaja Ikram's memories are heartwarming, like a child who gave him this shell. It says, from Gaza, with love, despite the pain. I mean, I start crying. I mean, again, I mean, and again, because again, these people have nothing, but they still want to give you something. So we're on the road in the van, and we hear the bomb go off, and then we see the smoke go off. So probably, like I said, maybe a block away. Other memories from his medical mission to Gaza are heartbreaking. Now, my five-year-old daughter was shot, and you know, she's my only daughter, so please save her for us. And of course, there's nothing we could do. He saw some children killed, others orphaned by the killing. The veteran orthopedic surgeon also handled new injuries. A leg blown off, when you see shrapnel throughout the whole body, when you see parts of the scalp blown out from a single bullet shot, I mean, these are nothing that I've ever seen before. They're healing slow, he says, due to a lack of nutrition. It's surreal when, again, there is aid that's right across the border, literally five miles away from where it's needed, and it's not being allowed to, you know, to be brought into them and harsh living conditions more than a million displaced people in tents everywhere including inside the european gaza hospital built for 300 he says they were treating over a thousand patients there Hello. Hello. crowded corridors dr ikram hasn't forgotten as he makes his rounds here at home three weeks later. When I saw the pain in these people's eyes and they said, you know, this is the one thing we asked from you, um, I decided to go ahead and do this story. He shares their message from Gaza with love, despite the pain. I don't know how to tell the story that we need an immediate ceasefire and these people need our, our aid. Tahiwa Rahman, NBC5.